Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2018. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. And yeah, um, if you're watching live on Twitch, thanks for hanging out. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really, really helps out the channel. Now, there's been quite a bit of talk and um, even um, a little bit of drama regarding Rampardos, so I figured why not feature this deck, um, the video right before um, Charlotte, where we might actually get to see the deck in action. So Rampardos, 150 HP, stage 2, um, similar to Gallade, uh, but not quite. And then we have the clean hit attack, which deals 60 damage for a single fighting energy. But if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this attack does 60 more damage. So a total of 120, which coincidentally is enough to knock out a, um, a Lucar uh, not a Lucario GX, sorry, a Zorak GX. So that's really, really good. Um, grass weakness is not ideal when Zorupod is one of not the best deck in the format so far, even though our earlier video did not really showcase its full potential um, because we weren't getting the right draws. And then we have the 3 4 line of Rampardos with the 4 unidentified fossil. This is an item card, so we cannot start with unidentified fossil as our lone basic starting Pokemon, but we do have Talonflame. Talonflame with 130 HP does allow us to um, get that extra stage to play for the prism energy and also we get to use aero blitz which deals 40 damage and we search for up to two cards and put them into our hand and we shuffle our deck afterwards so town flame a pretty decent uh pokemon no fletchling fletchling or fletchinder uh to go with it so maximum one town flame per um per deck or per game rather but we do have two Talonflame Break. Um, Talonflame Break gives us this fire typing, which is really nice right now to deal with um, Kalisabud because there's very few things that actually one hit KO Kalisabud and Flare Blitz just deals 150 damage. So how do we power up Flare Blitz? We can power up Flare, we can power up Flare Blitz with the counter energy or with the super boost energy. Um, one to lately for consistency purposes. Now, Props to this list goes to a Japanese player. Um, I got this list of a player from Japan, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm actually not completely sold. This is the right way to go about it. Um, you do have eight energy that go with Rampardos. Rampardos is the main focus of the deck. Um, but Talonflame just doesn't seem that useful overall. I'm actually gonna take out one Talonflame break. I don't see the need for two and we can add get an extra choice band never hurts to have the extra choice bands so um supporters wise we have four cynthia for guzma 3n and two sycamore um cynthia for draw support we shovel and draw six guzma to make sure we're targeting the right pokemon and thanks to talflame or the one energy requirement from rampardos shouldn't be an issue uh we should never have an issue with retreating to the right pokemon um, we do have 3N to disrupt our opponent, and then 2 Sycamore, which is not ideal because we discard a ton of cards. Um, but that's why we only run 2. Now, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Red Candy, the 4 Unidentified Puzzle, as I mentioned, the 4 Choice Band we just added, 3 Order Pad, where on a head flip you get to search for an item card in your deck, reveal it, and put it in your hand. If it fails, you don't get anything. But this card can directly search for Red Candy, can directly search for Ultra Ball, even Unidentified Fossil. So it's like our Bridget. <laughs> it's like a Pokeball for Unidentified Fossil. Um, we also have the one Field Blower, uh, just to remove those pesky Floatstones or Parallel CDs. One Special Charge to put back the Counter Energies and the Strongs, and then one Rescue Stretcher to get back those Rampardoses into play. Um, Manche, as you say, Rampardos and Expanded is really good too. Um, I definitely haven't trade, uh, tried Rampardos at all. Um, it's not a deck I'm considering for Charlotte, but it is a deck we might actually get to see on stream or maybe even making day two. Now, in terms of energy, we have the four basic fighting, four counter energy, and the four strong energy, along with a super boost energy, which provides four off, which is way more than we need, 
but super boost energy um, if we have three stage the Pokemon can allow us to use Wild Crash to knock out something like a Tapulele or we can also use Flare Blitz with it. So let's save the deck list and then let's jump into the ladder and see how we do. Okay, so scrolling all the way to the front, there's the Ramparos deck. We're on our one game win streak. Um, like I said, this will be a shorter stream. Um, huge shout out to our sponsors, Tabletop Village, Sakura Scoop, Ultimate Card. If you guys also want to check out how much championship, how many championship points we have, um, that's the current amount. And um, there's also um, uh, Doogie Super Boost does work on breaks uh, because they're non GXs. Um, Zorax HS, what deck I will use for Charlotte? Okay, I do want the Talon Flame. Would you like to take a bullet again? No. Um, what deck will I be using for Charlotte? I'm still undecided. Um, I'm between Zoropod and Zoro Guardi. Probably one of those two. Um, Buzz Rock, I did well with it at Memphis and then I did horribly with it at um, Sydney. So it's still in my back pocket, but not my. Uh, my ideal list or my ideal Pokemon and okay we seem to be up against uh, Buzz Garp I would imagine based on the Fighting Fury Belt, the Carbink and the Floatstone um, Energy Keeper Carbink is an interesting addition um, okay Brooklet Heal doesn't help us whatsoever Brooklet Heal definitely doesn't help us whatsoever There's an energy, another puzzle, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna apply some pressure to the carving. Um, we could even Guzma and start damaging that puzzle. We do have fighting resistance. Um, it's gonna be a while for puzzle to be ready to knock us out. So we should be good here. Okay, so we can use Brooklet to check our deck. We see that one Talon Flame is prized. Well, it's not relevant at all. Um, we see that one order pad is prized, two rare candy are prized, um, one ultra world is prized. No one identified fossil are prized, which are good, which is good. Um, and then one choice man is prized. So those are our six prizes. And thank you for the follow, Zorex. Okay, so we can't get anything, obviously. Um, but what I can do, like I said, is there's no OPG Ostrich. <laughs> Thank you so much for the cheers. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the duo army loves the tail ones. Thank you so, so much. I generally, I think you're the only person that I know that actually likes um, the duo. <laughs> okay, so Talonflame should be able to get us at least one more um, air blitz. So I'm just gonna grab two unidentified fossil. Um, we do have the counter energy, which will work if the Talon Flame is damaged. Now, the big issue here is that um, we're gonna have to use Wild Crash to get knockouts here um, because Puzzle is not an evolution, so just dealing 60 to it is not very good. Um, but thank you, OPG Ostrich, that's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so there's a Brooklet for another. Puzzle, no sign of Trubbish, so I'd be very surprised if my opponent generally doesn't have Trubbish. Manchester, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the for the cheers. Ooh, and I haven't switched to this. Okay, so we'll see the cheers drop down now, I believe. Um, I always forget to switch from one scene to the other. <laughs> thank you guys so, so much. Um, for whatever reason, the, the cup is now not em emptying, so that's the previous cup. Um, and then hopefully we'll see the new bits plop down in a second. Uh, but thank you guys, thank you so, so much. That's very, very kind of you. <laughs> okay, so we got to keep our unidentified fossils. Oh, we have to play them as an item. And there we go. Uh, they don't have any weakness, so we can attach this energy onto them. And then, we just air blitz again, right? And we're gonna air blitz for a rare candy and an energy here. Uh, 
strawberry candy and a strong I guess no reason not to <laughs> thank you guys so so much okay so there's another energy does my opponent even know what run Pardos does we're gonna use wild crash and we're gonna just outright remove three energy from play starting to see the advantages of the counter energy here yeah the bits are not dropping i don't know why okay ooh the n the n is pretty hurtful here the n is pretty devastating um yeah i mean well it's not it's not terrible especially because we got that other counter energy so we need to either top deck a rare candy so that we can rare candy into Rampardos or um, we're just patient and we wait one more turn. It's really not a big deal. Um, it's the advantage of using non-GX attackers, honestly. Um, we might, yeah. <laughs> Guys, OPG Ostrich, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, you don't have school tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I'm actually flying out to... Um, okay, can we? 60, 80, 110, plus 80. I would need too many cards. Um, tomorrow I'm flying into... Yeah, I could wear candy, but I don't have a way to guarantee the wear candy. That's the issue. Um, so I'm gonna... I have to play it this way, right? I'm gonna play this. And then I definitely want to do this. And then I think I'm going to do this. And ooh, I think I am, even though my opponent has less cards. Um, we should be able to battle soon on PG Ostrich. The issue is tomorrow I fly to Charlotte for the regional. And then next weekend I fly to Portland for the regional. Um, so I won't be able to... Okay, I think we just pass here. I won't be able to... Um, to play against you guys for the Pokedex series. Um, but after that, I should have like five weeks where I don't have any tournaments or where I don't have to travel for tournaments. Um, so hopefully that allows me to, to play against you guys. Okay, there's a Guzma. The Guzma is really hurtful here because we lose our only Cranidos. So now we 100% rely on rare candy. We need to find off of this Sycamore. Um, we're gonna need to find Rare Candy, Rampardos, and then Energy. Um, otherwise, we're in a terrible, terrible spot. Okay, there's the Energy, I guess. So we go all out, right? I could play Lele Down, but I don't think so. I could also play the Special Charge, but I don't think I need to put back the Energy. I need Rare Candy, Rampardos. No. <laughs> Uh, this card can't retreat. Okay, so what does Cranidos do? Head strike for 50. Oh. <laughs> Head strike for 50. And then we have to hope that we hit Burn Candy Rampardos off of the end. Um, so yeah, 50 damage is actually potentially relevant. Um, but we're lagging too far behind. Like, we're hoping a single Rampardos will be able to just win the game for us. Which is never good. Yeah. <laughs> this list is probably not very good. I don't know, it's just... Relying on, I, on unidentified fossil just doesn't seem very reliable at all. There's the energy, it hits another puzzle, so yeah. The issue is... Yeah, that other puzzle, it can just knuckle impact me for a game, pretty much. Okay. The deck does have order pads. I do have order pads here. Um, yeah, with maxis, that makes a lot of sense. Wait, what? Oh, because my opponent used Knuckle Impact. That's right. Okay, so... Yeah. So our Cranido survives here. Ooh. There's a Jet Punch. 30 extra damage. Okay. So 
So it's a really, there's a rare candy, nice timing. Um, one card off. Uh, we 100% rely on the fact that my opponent doesn't get an energy here. Otherwise, we're just out of luck, right? Unless we hit tail, uh, we hit heads here, I mean. Unless we hit heads here, nope. <laughs> Obviously not. Um, okay, so let's use clean hits, 80 plus 130. Clean hit is not a knockout. I could have attached the choice man, but wall crush works as well. So yeah, multiple. I can see how multiple Ramparos could have taken this deck on. Um, the carving promotion does signify that maybe my opponent doesn't have the energy, but he top decks the energy, so there's a well played. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, OPG Ostrich. That's very kind of you. Thank you so so much. You watch the channel every day. <laughs> That's so kind of you. So so kind of you. Okay. So did we didn't have. Thing is drop right? I know what's going on. Okay, so let's try this for another game, and then maybe we we just um, we just change the we just change the list a little bit. Okay. Okay. Hello, Merida. Thanks so much for being here. Wait, what? <laughs> what list is this? I clearly chose the wrong deck. <laughs> this is a polyrad deck. <laughs> what happened? How did this just jump all the way there? Okay, Rampardos. We want Rampardos. <laughs> okay, so we seem to be up against Zorg Guardi. You can max elixir the fossils. Yeah, you can max elixir the fossils. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, the fossils are just basic Pokemon that can't retreat. That's all they are. They're basic Pokemon that can't retreat. <laughs> that was a weird Kranidos indeed. Okay, so there's the Mulligan. Hopefully we don't start the Lele. The issue was also that my opponent just got rid of the got rid of the Tom Flame on the very same turn that um, he knocked out my um, that he knocked out my my Rampardos and the fact that we did not have an unidentified fossil in the same starting hand. Now we're running into not a similar issue. Um, not a similar issue, but we don't have energy this time around. Okay. I have no idea what the background music is. It's probably from the street. Okay, DC immediately on the Zorua. So let's flip for order pad. We do top deck a counter energy, which is nice. We flip tails, that's 0 for 2 in order pads. You played with carving break, yeah? That's potentially a good way to go about it. Um, the, my opponent's deck is an evolutions. Um, deck, so we won't be relying on the counter energy, pretty much. And then we just Cynthia. We don't mind the top of Lele being up there, honestly. Um, okay, so we get another unidentified fossil. Yeah, there were some weird backpipes and a ringtone, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. Um, but it, it, I mean, <laughs> it's okay, I guess. Okay, so we already have our Rampardo, so let's get our very candy. And I feel like I should get another order pad here. I mean, not order pad, unidentified fossil. Um, we're not too hard pressed for energy. We already have a draw supporter. And my opponent could just Guzman knock out an unidentified fossil here. Um, so we want to replace that as soon as possible. There's a Mallow, so no Guzman, which is good. Um, is my opponent running Devoured Field? I doubt it. So Talonflame should survive for one more turn. 
and then if for whatever reason he decides to aggressively target down the town flame uh, we could just take down the zork with the rampardos and actually now that i think about it well no i mean the rear candy unidentified fossil was a conservative play but i feel like it's fine I feel like it's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the things are not dropping into the jar, right? I just clicked to show that again. Yeah, nothing is dropping into the jar. I don't understand why. My jar seems to be stuck. Um, okay. So... Yeah, those are from the last stream though. Not that I keep getting bits, it's just I'm trying to... No! Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so those are from Manchester. Our energy got removed, which is fine, honestly. Oh, wow, already a carnivore set up. Okay, that's pretty scary. The carnivore already being set up is pretty scary. You see I'm mute, which is okay. What? That's my opponent's second turn? That's crazy. Um, I'm not running puzzles, so yeah, there's no way to get the puzzles back if they get KO'd. I was just thinking about that too. Yeah, there's no way to recover the fossils if they're gone. Wow, that Gardevoir is up already. What? That Gardevoir is up already. <laughs> that was an insane turn two by my opponent. Take like he's only played six cards and he only has two Zorks, a Cardi, fully powered up too. Um Okay. So I could aggressively target down the Gardevoir, but then after the Rampardus goes down, I'm out of luck pretty much. So and I really don't want to end my opponent. So maybe I could Kuzma. Maybe I can... Okay, this is what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna Guzma the Mew. And then if he tries to copy Air Blitz, then I just end him. And this will allow me to set up more... Um, more Rampardoses. Are there any standard cards to get items back other than puzzles? I don't think there are. I don't think there are. Yeah, I generally don't think there are. Um, Gardevoir. <laughs> Gardevoir GX puts back anything. But yeah, I don't think there's any way to to do that, actually. Other than puzzles. So yeah, this is probably not the best list for Rampardos. I just wanted to try out like the card's potential. Maybe not the optimal list to go about it. Um, but Rampardo's just getting one hit KOs back and forth on the Zorks seems pretty decent. Now my opponent has four cards. He traded away a Galade and a Rare Candy. Which is good news. Because Galade doesn't give us two prizes. Oh, the new Oranguru, yeah. The new Oranguru, that's right. Just spending a turn to put back two items and then putting those back and then another turn to get Rampardo's potentially. That feels too slow though, right? That definitely feels like it's too slow. Okay, oh no. There's a Guzma. Does my opponent have another TCE? Does he really have his third TCE already? Or worse, two fairies out of three cards? 
he attacks my Rampardos, that's generally okay. As long as we get an energy, of course. Oh my gosh, there's a Guardi. Please don't tell me I have a DCE. Everyone's are running so hot against me. Okay, no. Just infinite force for 90, that's fine. That is fine. Okay, yeah, let me just do this to make sure the bits show up from OPG Ostrich. Thank you so, so much. Just want to keep filling up the cup. Okay, so the Cranidos top deck is very nice. So now we have triple Rampardos. There's the Cranidos. Okay, now we have those filling up the cup. Thank you guys so much for the bits. And then we're looking for one energy. There we go. There we go. Okay, an identified fossil number four, which is really nice. No supporters which is not ideal but we get to do a clean hit <laughs> thank you so much OPG Ostrich have a nice day thank you so much for stopping by okay 170 for one energy is crazy Lucario GX does that Lucario GX does that um, but Rampardos does it, too, does it too and it's a non GX Okay, I feel like the camera is weird. I wish it would zoom out a little bit more. I don't think I can lower it anymore. Okay, I could also sit farther back. I could also sit farther back, not too much farther. Okay, there's a Mallow. There's the Mallow. for max potion and fairy? I would imagine so, right? Oh, the max potion is gone. And then if he double puzzles for the max potion, he already needs the... He already needs to have the fairy in his hand. Oh, awesome. awesome, awesome. Okay, so we got a win with one part of it. Pretty nice. I don't know why my turn is up there, um, but I'll take it. I will definitely, definitely take it. Um, TFB, Vinicius, um, what do I think of Sword, Gardevoir in the current metagame? I think it's well positioned. Um, it's probably the, the least reliable Zorg deck, if you will, because of the stage 2 um, aspect to it. Because is the sound better now? The senior poker player. Um, it's probably your mic became really soft. Okay, is it better now? Is it better? Hopefully, is the mic better? Um, so yeah, Zorak Gardevoir I feel like is really well positioned. Um, it's the least reliable Zorak deck, but um, it's also um, the most powerful one once it's fully set up. Um, I think it's good, it's just um, the the potential like unreliability of it um, is a bit scary. Okay, I think I definitely want to mulligan this hand. That was not a good hand. Okay, I'm glad it's better. Um, yeah, I actually, I, <laughs> yeah, I did do something different with it. Okay, I definitely want to mulligan this hand. <laughs> that was awful. Um, Okay, this one is pretty good. I'll keep this one. Ooh, you can't attach strong to an identified fossil. I didn't realize that. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's a very viable deck. Um, the format is still the same as in Sydney, and it won. It did really well there, so no reason why it wouldn't do well. And as you can see, um, there's our Cardi immediately as well. Okay, choice band I'll do here. And then I'll just end. I don't want to take them away all those cards, but I do want to get closer to a potential energy. Okay, can we hit our first order pad? No. <laughs> That's 
all for three in order pad the white snake <laughs> thank you so much thank you so so much for filling the cup thank you so so much <laughs> that's very kind of you very very kind of you thank you so much okay <laughs> thank you so much okay so yeah today will be a shorter stream because in one hour I, i'm gonna start um with my coaching for the day and it's gonna be six hours of coaching in a row so it's gonna be a very long day okay my opponent just draw passes interesting okay we'll do the cranidos choice land is actually not relevant now that i think about it i guess it's fine to do a kale laylays um cynthia okay order pad can we flip ahead with order pad yes finally the first heads with order pad it's like a worth no oh, it's like a better pokeball i guess kind of like a weird pokeball rather oh but we didn't get an energy that's so bad <laughs> we didn't get an energy that is so bad okay <laughs> i didn't realize we didn't get an energy we needed an energy to wear a blitz we if we had gotten that this would have turned into a, a situation where i could have even used um wild crash with super boost multi-energy um fiat of us is this christopher shemensky's list no um i i can't use or i won't use rather um lists that are not public um so the list by christopher shemensky is on an article in six prizes underground and um it's under a paywall so even though i have access to the list um if i make a video out of it then why would people go to six prizes for the list so um i'm choosing not to not to use that list on purpose okay there's an ultra ball there's a zoark we're gonna see an ultra ball for another zoark we're gonna see the trade start the trade chain after the Cynthia, of course. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to export that. Um, but yeah, more routes. Oh, wow. Very candy card. No, very candy card. Okay. We can deal with Kalade, I think. We need two strong to deal with Kalade uh, in a one shot. Um, where did people start talking about Rampardos? Um, maybe, maybe it was there. Uh, but I've seen a few people make videos on it. Um, I've seen it get talked about a little bit on on Hey Fonte and Facebook and stuff like that, so I figured I would give it a try. And wow, the stream is flawless. I love this new computer. <laughs> Hello Titan, thanks so much for being here. Okay, there's the energy. Um, so we get a one shot onto the Zor. This is not as strong, so Galade is going to be annoying to deal with. Uh, losing the Cranidos is also not ideal. No, hmm. we don't need choice bands. I generally don't. Th I think four choice bands is a mistake in the deck. Okay, so there's the Rampardos, the other Rampardos. Now we can use Super Multi for this energy thingy. Um, I'll remove the parallel just because I can. Um, <laughs> thank you guys thank you so much for stopping by uh the white snake thank you so much very kind of you i'm sure you'll be catching the video later <laughs> have a nice day okay um the stretcher can become lately so i can draw a supporter but clean hit we get a knockout it's like the attack's name could be clean hit on zor gx <laughs> that could easily be the attack's name now, Galid also doesn't want to kill Rampardo, so that's fine. And look at Tuliga. You have a question in a tournament. Can you do Infinite Mulligan with a deck with only Town Flames? Um, yeah, no. Because you have to play at least one basic Pokemon, I believe. Um, Titan, you've seen some pro players play without Playmats. Is there any real reason for that? I mean, the playmats are nice. Um, for example, 
for example, Sam Chin never uses a playmat. Um, I grew accustomed to using a playmat because some of the places we play in Mexico are not like the nicest. And so the tables can get dirty, the sleeves get dirty, and so the sleeves last less. Um, I, I think there's no reason for that other than personal preference. Um, Kevin, this new change of image, this new layout and everything, <clears throat> it's because we're using, uh, we finally got the new computer to make sure that um, all the videos that we make are high quality. Um, I wanted to be a better content creator for you guys. And so, um, and so we have a new layout, new graphics, new everything. Um, new table, it's like Tablemon Evolved. Okay, so I literally have the win in my hand. Like I take another knockout here and then I stretch her for Lele for Guzma for the win. So we're in a pretty good spot here. It's just locking down those orcs is really nice. Um, so that's the reason why Kevin is thanks to the generous people who have uh, donated so far in the GoFundMe that I was able to get this new computer, the subscribers, the donators, um, Titan and the White Snake as well, um, all subscribers, viewers. It's thanks to all of that that we are now with a brand new computer, um, much better hardware to make much better streams to bring you guys back even better quality. Um, Bro, bro mate, Sam used the Finimat he got at Daytona when we played. Yeah, sometimes he uses um, sometimes he uses a playmat, sometimes he doesn't. I don't know what the term is. It. Um, as far as I know, he prefers to not use a playmat. Okay. Double puzzle. My win needs to end me. If he doesn't end me, we just win here. My opponent doesn't end me. We have simply won the match now. Which is good, right? It's good news. Um, ooh, Galate and Cynthia. So that should be game. If my opponent Cynthia's here, that's game. If we stretch her the Lele, with Lele we grab a Kuzma, and then either Rampardo just takes down the last Zorg, or my opponent Kuzma, and that's okay. That's okay too. Okay. So yeah, I think we're gonna do a different deck after this. <laughs> Rampardos is okay. Uh, we were able to get two wins with it. Um, but surely the list is not optimal. And I don't wanna use, like I said, ooh, we even top deck pictures now. Um, I don't wanna use a list from a, a paywall article. So. Um, so yeah, we're gonna switch to to Ho Kiawa now. We tried that's the last deck that we tried on the last stream we did with the previous computer where I decided that I couldn't wait anymore because the quality was just not up to par. And I am also recording the video as I'm streaming, so hopefully the video will be in a much higher quality as well. Okay. Okay. So now it's time for Ho O Tortinator. Okay, guys, I'll just I'll show you. <laughs> I'm glad you like the new layout to Pandage. Um, this is a list that I tried out just now for Rampardos. Um, props to the Japanese player who who shared the list, um, but it's definitely lacking a little bit in my opinion. Um, so now we're gonna move on to Ho Tortinator. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, video um, there yeah the webcam will always cover one or two cards uh, Sinichi thanks so much <laughs> for following um, now it's just covering the forward candy okay now it's just covering the forward candy so we should be good um, that's a full list and if you're watching on YouTube don't forget to leave a like it really helps out the channel and if you're if you are live here with me on Twitch don't go anywhere I'll be right back <laughs> 